Hello, welcome to Matthew Attempts to Draw. I'm Matthew, I attempt to draw. Uh, today I'm doing a little something a little different. It's still a comic, but uh, this is a, it's something I had in my mind for a while, and I decided to give it a shot. I do a lot of different things in this that I usually don't do, and, uh, well, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, let's begin. Now, uh, the very first thing you'll see that I do is that I draw this very cartoonish looking character. Usually I'll draw someone with like a circle head and uh, give them, you know, an ordinary shaped body. This one, I just give this potato looking dude. Uh, you know, I won't, like I said, I want to do things different. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I got a little issue with drawing this body. Like, I, I, I just uh, pan him downwards a little, like that. And, uh, also, in doing this, I. I realized that I still can't draw suits, as you just saw there at the bottom. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, not much happens in each frame. I'm going to copy and paste uh, for each frame. I hope you don't mind. But uh, yeah, yeah. I should never erase the top of his head in the first panel. That would have helped if I hadn't done that. But well, anyway, uh, anyway, the the joke of this, if you haven't seen the comic. Um, he's at the barber, and he's like, take a little off the top, and, uh, <laughs> well, you can see what happens there, he shares up the insides of his head. Yeah, right now I'm working on the, the trimmer there. And you go. Uh, There's another thing I do, sound effects and speed lines, I usually don't do that. I, I it's, it's not that I don't like doing it, it's just I don't think about it. Anyway, um, Yeah, so I, I make I really zoom into his face for the third panel. You'll see the other thing I do differently in just a bit uh, uh, for, the, the, for the final panel. But right now I, I work on uh, the background. I want to draw like the mirrors and stuff because it's a barber shop. And it's a uh, you know, so like there's got to be other things in the background. So there's like the mirrors and like the counters that they put their stuff on. But you'll notice I didn't draw any, you know, cutting utensils or chairs. Uh, just, just pretend I did, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. Anyway, and you can, you can also see I use the parallel line tools. But uh, yeah. So again, I copy and paste. And. Uh, I gotta put him a bit. This is, I want to make sure he's in the right position. I gotta put him a bit to the left there. All right. I, I temporarily forget where uh, the latest things was. Uh, the, the properties, uh, but you know, make them blue, and you know, fine work as as you do. Uh, yeah. So that, I was saving right there. Oh, I, I wasn't sure how to draw the eye for for a bit there. I kept trying, trying to figure out how to match the left eye, and then I just decided to screw it, get the eclipse tool. <laughs> yeah, you know. Some may call it cheating, but I just call it help me. <laughs> That's what my dad calls alcohol, to help me. He'll, he'll, he'll go to the help me store. <laughs> I'm, dead, I'm dead serious. That's what he calls the, the beer store. Which, ironically, is just called the beer store where we live. Anyway, so gotta match the hair. See, the hair makes the thing. Well, the comic. Honestly, it's not that important. <laughs> when I first pa uh, pasted it here, I was like, "Oh, the hair gets in the way." The sound effects. Like then, I was right. Oh, right. I removed the hair. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway. Um, And I hope I did that evenly enough. And uh, well, honestly, I'm not sure I did a good job drawing those trimmers. I usually don't use reference photos. It's it's not that I think that you shouldn't. I you definitely should use references. I just I don't know. It just seems like too much of a hassle for me. Usually, when it, it really it's not. I should look up references. People do it all the time, even the most professional artists. But. Uh, Seriously, don't, uh, folks, if you're uh, beginning at stuff, don't be ashamed to use reference photos. 
this is my attempt to draw the hair that's shaved off, but I can't figure out a way that looks right, and I didn't. I don't want to take up too much time, uh, so I just like forget it that the hair that came off just disappears in the thin air. I notice that I get a lot more self-confidence, uh, uh, self, uh, what's it called? Self something. When when I'm recording, I'm I'm always a bit like worried. Self-conscious. That's it. I'm always like worried that I'm, like everybody's seeing my mistakes, you know, and I'm just like, man, this guy sucks. It's okay if you say it. I won't be mad. I'll, I'll be I'll be a little sad. But you know, anyway, as you can see, I, I copied and pasted. You know, really, it, it, it just makes sense to copy and paste. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm using a transparency layer to hide the uh, stuff behind uh, the man here. You know, you could just erase, but transparency layers are nice too. Because then you can make it invisible without actually deleting anything. Not that anything in the background is of importance to me or anything, but, you know, still kind of neat to have. And, uh... Anyway, with the, the line work done... Uh, oh, uh, I was trying to figure out which paintbrush to use. This is the other thing that I do differently. Usually I just use, like, a standard hard brush, but I want to use a soft brush and, like, give it a painting look. Uh, now, here's the thing. I can't paint. As you will see by the end of this, it looks very childishly done, but I don't know, maybe that'll work. Maybe that sort of helps with the charm. We'll see. You'll see. And uh, if I'm wrong, you can yell at me in the comments. It's okay. But, uh, yeah, so. And, uh, now one thing I realized while uh, painting is that I pressed too hard on the pen and, the, and, like, the tablet. So as a result, it looked pretty solid, which, you know, I gotta be lighter. And I eventually do get later, later on, but uh, whether or not this looks good or not, uh, it definitely helped me learn some things. And uh, yeah, I tried to paint like the outline of the nose because I don't want to use like the, I don't want to just use like line work like for the other two frames. I want this to look sort of like a painting. Uh, I fail miserably, I feel, but you know, I tried. That means something, I think. And, uh, yeah. So. Oh, I screwed up with the wrong layer there. That's what that was. Oh. And, uh, yeah, this is where I started to realize to paint lighter. And that's where it gets, like, this sort of painterly look in his mouth. And, uh, yeah. You know, you might say that looks like crap. And you wouldn't be wrong, but I don't know. Like I said, I wanted to have like a paint look, not like a solid marker look. So I'm always amazed by the paintings I see, you know, or like just high detail shots in cartoons. SpongeBob had a lot of those, like where like it'll like zoom in on people's faces or whatever. And it looks disgusting. I wish I could paint like that. Well, maybe one day if I keep at it. Who knows? Anyway, uh, the hair. I think I used too light a gray for the hair and the end result. The thing is, my tablet uh, has a darker look to it than my monitor. Or actually, it could be that my monitor is just too bright. I, I suppose I could always look it up. Yeah. I also realize, though, that people's monitors have different color settings, brightness settings, and whatnot. It really makes me wonder if I'm actually doing this right, you know? I remember one time I screwed up the color settings on my TV so badly that reds looked like blues. Or maybe it was blues that looked like reds. Yeah, that was a, that was a long time ago, back when I was a kid. I fixed it eventually. But, uh, yeah. Oh, this is where I tried to detail the hair, but I'm not sure how. Yeah. Oh, I tried getting a darker gray. But like I tried I also tried like detailing. See, like those little strokes, but like it doesn't look right. It just looks childish looking. That kinda works. Oh now I try to like dark darken the outlines. Because like I said, I don't want it to look like outlines. I, I wanted to try to look like a painting, which again, 
I feel like I screwed up with, but... Well... By the way, it does kind of look like a painting, just like a really, really bad one. So, maybe, maybe that'll add to the humor of it. That's my hope. Anyway, the majority of this is like just fixing up little stuff, then causing more little stuff to happen, so I gotta fix that up too. Yeah, yeah I didn't like the outline for those, those eyes, but then I realized I kind of need it. <laughs> So I decided to just shrink it a bit. Like, that's the problem with the outlines. If they look too thin, they don't look right. But if they look too big, they look childish. That was the issue I had. These were too big. Yeah. I'm not very good at the fine details, I guess. Ah, now here comes the flatting. Now this I know how to do. Once I realized, once I started flatting the uh, other stuff, I was like, oh, now this sort of looks okay. But then I looked at the, four, the third panel, I'm like, oh, I'm not good at this. It makes me wonder, should I stick with what I'm good at, or should I try a new thing every once in a while? I don't know. Well, I mean, the Charles Matthew attempts to draw, so I can always attempt more things. Yeah. See, this is one of the times where I realize the channel is called Matthew Attempts to Draw for a reason, and not Matthew Draws, because sometimes I can't. This, this is definitely one of those times where I would say that, yeah, this was an attempt. A definite attempt. Uh, anyway, um... Uh, and here's the text. Oh, this is another thing I did differently. Someone requested that I make my uh, uh, word bubbles uh, look more circular, and uh, well, I I thought maybe if I painted the white and then they used like a, an outline stroke tool, maybe that would fix it. If that doesn't work, I can just use the circle tool. If that maybe that'll fix it, I don't know. I originally drew oh no like O and O instead of O H and O, but then I then I fix it because I'm just I, I'm just that much of a stickler for proper spelling. I thought just with an O would be funnier, and maybe it was. I don't know, but I I, I just I couldn't do it. Anyway, I was I was almost about to finish here, but then I was like, oh right, I got a shade. Yeah, decided to shade the bottom of the nose. That's what I like about big noses. You can really add to details like shades or warts, pimples, and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, I definitely felt more comfortable when it came to doing this because I've done it so much. Not that I think I'm a professional at it. There's definitely more I could do learn when it comes to shading. But, uh, I definitely felt better about it. Alright, I also tried shading the hair, but I was like, shading black on a black hair it looks kind of weird, so I just left it as is. I'm not saying you can't do it, but I just, you know, I just left it as is. I also decided to shade the painting just to give it more of a look, I guess. I hope it worked. Well, yeah. I tried to, I tried to like uh, do a gradient sort of thing, but I I couldn't do it. I I, I like. Like I always see like these really smooth gradients in these paint and like paintings, people who use like the soft brushes, and I, I I can't do it. I want to. Like this is basically that's like the entire message of the third panel. I want to. I can't. Anyway. Alright. So uh And I'm, right now I'm waiting for like the, the canvas to shrink a little. Like, I, I don't, like, I feel like the frames are too big, so I started to shrink them. Like, see, now, there, there they go. And, uh, there's my signature. 
and that signifies the end. This, that was this, that was uh, the barbershop mishap. That's how I drew it and painted it terribly. Well, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you did. Uh, either the painting or the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, do consider liking and subscribing. I've been told I need to say that uh, for videos like these. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed, uh, you know, you know, you know what to do. I'm Matthew. I attempt to draw, and uh, yeah.